Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Altcoin Buzz Trading. I'm still Randy. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, Caspa, and Maker. So let's get right to it. We got BTC with a big drop down the other day. And so far, we're, we are trying to find support. So far, we're doing so. We'll see how long that lasts for. Uh, if we fail the support here at the 27.289 and, and move a little bit lower, we have one more last bastion of hope, which is this ascending trend line, which cuts through these bottoms of, of recently. And if that gets cut, then we're, we're back to looking and seeing if we can move lower, which we weren't able to do a few weeks ago. So if we're able to move lower between that, obviously we go into a bigger downtrend, but that low has held. So why would it go down now when it didn't go down a couple of weeks ago? Uh, it really doesn't make any sense. So chop seems the most likely. And if you look at where my chart is right now, Let's take a look here. So I've got my big orange range. My chart is pretty much in the one third level. We move up a little bit, which is where we stalled out. We're right in the middle of this choppy area. And remember what I said may have been yesterday, may have been the day before, but in this box area, pretty much anything can happen. Very random things can happen. And would you agree that what we're seeing is pretty random? So the chart patterns are working, but they're not sustainable. And that is a problem across this market right now. So we have to see if we're going to sustain this support, then maybe we can try to move up and ultimately fill the measured move or even the full range. Uh, but with that type of a red candle, it's hard to think that it's going to surpass that type of resistance. So we're probably just going to chop. All right. Um, the first one we're going to talk about is Maker, symbol MKR. And apparently Maker has a really good yield right now. There's a lot of people that are uh, buying maker it has a lot of volume stepping into it recently so i took a look at the chart and, and saw something pretty interesting i'm going to walk you through it real quick um first thing i want to show you is its overall chart and it's it has kind of broken its trend here to the downside but it broke it a while ago back in june july so it's moving on the way up here and even if you discount that diagonal there's that small box that i that i mentioned with bitcoin um makers isn't as concise as a matter of fact, I could draw a bunch of trend lines, but I'm just going to draw one right here, kind of across the middle of these three highs. And getting above that level is more bullish for this token. And so we're in the bullish area. Now, at this particular point in time, we're, we're in the uptrend, volume increasing here pretty good, although not amazing, but pretty good. Higher highs and higher lows, that makes an uptrend. And so right there is your current support line for makers. So we're bouncing off of support. And as we just discussed with Bitcoin, this is recent support. So if we can hold that, then we should be able to uh, sustain this move and move up. But there is a moment of caution here. The upside may be a little bit limited. Um, there are a few things at play. Number one, there's a high here and a high here. And there's a, so that's a higher high. While our RSI points are about even, that's called a hidden divergence. That means that the momentum that here is less than the, the momentum that's over here that got us up into the new high. And so while this is looking good and that 8% is looking strong, uh, just keep, it, keep that in mind that we are losing momentum to the upside on Maker. But I do want to point it out. I think it's, an, I think it's a pretty good play. 8% yield these days is pretty good and something that's fairly stable. And then next up is Caspa, symbol K-A-S. And Caspa up here, this is a, a much more, I don't want to say unstable, but much smaller token. Um, has some very, very good technicals to it. I've got a lot going on on my chart. Let's look at the bigger picture. Bigger picture, this has pretty much been a strong uptrend the whole time, which is what you want to see. Now, you won't find this on Binance. You'll find it on MEXC. Uh, I believe now you can find it on KuCoin, but go double check for yourself on that. But uh, great uptrend here, nice cup, good breakout, uh, some kerfuffle happening, beautiful uptrend there, and then a, a nice consolidation up here with higher highs and higher lows all the way around. Now, the flaw here is we are diminishing in volume a little bit, but we are squeezing at highs. So they're still accumulating this, even though they're not you know, running it to the moon quite yet. But I got a couple levels here for you. One we're already past, which is the 048217. And this other one, as of recent, is the 051810. That's your next kind of level. Let's go down to the two-hour time frame and take a look at this guy. And here you have recently, it's just got a nice little flag on it. It is trying to poke up. This could be a potential trade actionable today, as a matter of fact. Um, so your stop loss on this, let's actually throw in our tools. We'll grab our long trade. If you grab this almost immediately, 
Your stop loss here can be as, as small as 1.8%. Let's actually just make that 2% just to give us a little bit of wiggle room. So that puts your stop at the 49, 441. And your move for this uh, is probably likely just going to be this last measured move because of the market environment we're in. We're just not very bullish at the moment. Now, if this blows through this, then that would be amazing. Okay, so, and your reward's about 9%, so a 4.47 risk-reward ratio trade, targeted about 055, if you enter pretty much right around here. Now, the reason I say enter right around here is because this does have a, a bit of a symmetry to it. It's not a, it's not a symmetrical triangle. It's not even a, a flat triangle, but it's an asymmetrical triangle, but these still can work pretty good. And mainly, it's not just that. We have a lot of those in the market, but it's this overall picture, this ability for this thing to stay higher. And we're not really asking for that much out of this pop. And in this market environment, I'm not sure what you could ask for. So there you go. A couple of potential trades for you, and we'll see what BTC does. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If any coins you'd like me to cover, I'll be happy to do that. So let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow on Altcoin Buzz Trading.